when we're going down to the Estrella in Portugal. It's only a hundred miles from here. Oh, can we get out? I think we'll catch up a bit later once we've got out of here, viewers. Weather is 18 degrees, 100 miles to go. If we get there in time, we're going to do one of my my short loop as well. Because I'm on two loop rides uh, as this is a two-night hotel. So I might do one of the two options if we get there at a reasonable time, which we should do. Well, it's 9.35. Is it still going? I don't know how much battery is in it. Yeah, it's flashing. Oh, there, it's blinking now. Would we'll you stand there and I'll do a screenshot? Or just le lean, o lean over as it, on, on your pegs as if you'd. That's it. <laughs> There's no motion blur at all, though, on this. When I, when I get this close, please don't break. I try not to. <laughs> it's not to my uh, benefit either. Right, welcome back. We just had a coffee stop in. I'll put the name of the town up there because it's one of these long names. And we've just come out the other side and we are on the N226. Turning out to be a nice day. 21 degrees now at uh, half past 11 local time. Welcome back. So we just turned on to the M584 through these sort of uh, forests of pine here. Some of the routes are completely different to what we did last year because of the locations of some of the hotels. Well, we may, well, maybe I didn't do this one because we didn't stay at the Duro last time. Look at the size of this uh, geological rocks around here. Oh, better watch the corner, Paul. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Let's film a bit up through here.
interesting little turn there. They just don't hate cobbles, like the self-imposed speed limits, aren't they? Where are we going? Oh, first exit. Welcome back. We're on the N330. Wide, fast, sweepy, and more of these uh, rock uh, formations here that are jutting out. Starting to gain some height. We're at 2,400 feet at this point. Can't remember of what it is at the highest point, but we'll soon see when we get there. Everybody wanted to go there on the way to the hotel rather than uh, keep it back for tomorrow, which is fine. Welcome back, we're still on the N330, but we've only got 36 miles to go. Less than that until we hit the uh, Serra de Estrella mountains. I thought you'd like to see some of this lovely little road. Faster, there's hardly any traffic about. As you can see, it's like this. You could ride it faster, but we're just, uh, well, I'm cruising to make sure everybody enjoys it, really. That's where we're going. It's up there. Oh, see, that's windy now. That's where we're heading, up there. Right, so we're on the N232. This is the start of the. Uh, run up into the mountains. Let's stop and get a picture a bit further up here. And a lovely day for a ride up into the Estrella. Impressive up here, isn't it? If you've never been, it's uh, quite a surprising area. So anyway, we're going to go down here, just recalculated down here, two miles, hang a right and it will get us back up to the hotel. Amazing roads here, aren't they? You must come and do this if you've never been to this part of Portugal before. Because it's just loads all around all of these hills around here to wiggle your way around. Just been through the town of Mantiegas. I don't, I'll put it up on the screen. You'll know it if you know this area. So we're just winding our way back, going take a direct from there route to the hotel seven miles away. So I just thought I'd film this little bit. Uh, we've managed to lose Paul and Rob in the back streets of uh, Mantiegas. So I'm sure they'll find their own way through. Sorry guys, I did hang around and did send you a pin to where we were, but obviously it's difficult when you're on the bike. This is a bit further along that, uh, I'll give the road number a bit, but where we were stuck in. We did roadworks there and it's such a long off air it's a uh, maximum of 11 minutes turn round yeah this is the N338 
should come out on the main road and we've got to turn left for four miles to the hotel. You know where you're going, don't you? So it's yeah. two miles down here oh, okay. on the right. I'm just going to go back there. It's just down the road there to the highest point. I thought you'd like to uh, see this bit. This but who knows, I mean, the weather should be okay tomorrow, but just in case it isn't, I'll record this bit. Still climbing, so I'm definitely going the right way. I can't believe how quiet it is, there's hardly anybody around. Well, compared to the last time I was here in September. Crazy. There's, uh, there's food and restaurants over there, there's snack bar over there. But there's great views all around, so it's uh, worth a, a stop here if you're in the area. Get your pics, but I'll show you bits of the road on the way down. I'll turn it back on once we've got uh, off this, because um, it's about a mile off the uh, main drag to get to here. So. Right, so this is where the junction is. That's just a one-way road up to the highest point. So it's uh, down here to Kulvia. They must do some mountain climbers. There is a massive, sorry if I've said this before, there's a massive boulder on one, I think it's down this bit. Last time we were here, I couldn't believe there's this, like a fly on the top of it. There's a bloke standing right on the top of this rock. It's like a massive boulder, it's over on the left hand side somewhere. It's not that one, it's a boulder. Well it could have been there I suppose. And we wondered how the heck did he get up on there? Yeah what well, it was, it was right up on, he was standing right up on there. So they must do rock climbing or something there. What a great day for it! It's only 16 degrees up there. That's over 6,000, well it's 6,180 feet here. So I can't remember. I'll put it on there. Just my nasally tones I'm afraid. I can't seem to get rid of this. Uh, there's any doctors out there who listen to this. There is a reason why, like this year round, let me know. 
because I haven't been able to find a remedy yet. I love this area. All the guys who haven't been here before are loving the roads. Gary has ridden all over the world and he says this is some of the best biking he's done. So there's a recommendation for you. He's done the Pan American Highway, he's ridden in New Zealand, all over. Most of Europe on some of the trips I've been on as well. But he's never been to this area before. The Luna Hotel. Right, viewers, what do you think of that one? The Luna Hotel Serra de Estrella. And there's a bit of a view. So we're right on the edge of the Estrella here and looking out over Cavilla. Pretty impressive, huh? Good morning, that is day seven here in the Serra de Estrella. We're up at this uh, Luna Hotel de Estrella and uh, there's a couple of loop rides. We're just here for the day now, We've, it's a two night stop. Uh, so I'm going with some others on the my Route 7B, which I've called the Portuguese Stelvio. I don't think it's much like the Italian uh, Stelvio, but we'll, uh, I haven't ridden that bit. I've done about half of this route the last time I was out here two years ago. Anyway, we'll see how we go and um, I'll pick up with you later on. We've got to go and fill up the fuel down in Covia and uh, that's our end point as well for filling up so we're ready for tomorrow's ride to Guadal yeah, Paradol Guadalupe, I think we are tomorrow. Anyway, catch up with you later. Cheers. Oh, good. Yeah, I wanted to check out, uh, I've put this uh, camera on the ultra wide view. Give that a try. If it's not too fish bowly. We'll use that I think today. All right, that's a test over. Right, so we're just winding our way out of uh, Covia from the fuel stop. 108 miles to go on the loop. And we have Brian, Pascal, concentrating and talking at the same time, not my forte. Gary, Wayne, Eric, I think that's everybody. N230. Let's put my shades up, I can't read it from The N343, it says hyphen one out into the countryside. So we're going to the yeah, Portuguese Stelvio, it's uh, called. People rave about this road, but I, when I looked at it on, uh, sorry, Gloria Garmin was talking to me. Um, yeah, when I looked at it on street view, it doesn't look anything like the uh, Doesn't look like anything like the uh, Italian Stelvio. Fuel stop. Right, catch up in a minute.
It likes this 98 octane fuel, that's for sure. It's a lot smoother. Been running the usual 95 for the last few days because it's not always available, the 98. Full go juice at uh, Covia. It's a bit of a playground along here, isn't it? Into oh. I can't look at the. Uh, <laughs> road numbers right now. Right, we're doing a bit of filming from the, from the rear pannier shot, I think. Bit of banking on that one. We're going to stop down here for coffee. That one was shut, unfortunately. We stayed there before. I stopped there before for coffee. It's a lovely place up the top there. It's, it's a Monday, so maybe they shut on Mondays. No signage saying why or what. As you can see, more nice roads. Paul and Sue ahead on their BMW. I think they've got their 360 camera on the go. Well, it's protruding out the sides. So I hope they've got some of the uh, footage up there. coffee stop.
just had a nice little coffee stop there. Welcome back. Just thought I'd fill this bit as we can out on this uh, side of the escarpment. I've no idea where the uh, Portuguese Stelvio is. I haven't seen a sign or anything yet to uh, indicate that. And we've got 71 miles to go back. Maybe we haven't got to that yet. Thought I'd film it. Looks a bit pretty. Rather than just filming all the roads. Oh, I'll show you a little bit of that town. down into this town of Sabugiro. So I've got a waypoint at the reservoir stroke. There's a cafe up along near the reservoir in five miles. I think I've got loads of spare SD card. The batteries seem to last all day when I'm just uh, cautious about the clips I produce. In 339 this one is. Yeah, 4,900 feet here. Is that loud or is it just my imagination? This is the view right at the top. So that's the road we came up over there. And that's the road, that's the way we're going up to the highest point in Portugal, up to the Torre. So we're just leaving the reservoir here on my left. 
Got some good pictures there. I hopefully you've uh, seen those in the edit. It's extraordinary, isn't it? The stones up here. So I've just shown the boys, Rob and uh, Paul, the entrance here to uh, the highest point. Here's the turning, N338 down to uh, Guada, Montiga, a bit of gas. So this is where this is the road that I rode up yesterday, where there's the uh, road works and the 11 minutes. <laughs> what we got in here? Get out! 11 minute delay at the traffic lights, but it's a good loop back to Coiva, Covia, so I can get some fuel, all fueled up then for the morning. I'm just filming a bit more down that uh, road because it's quite a nice valley. You can see it in this direction instead from a change. Still trying to catch the others up, but I don't think that's going to happen somehow. Well, tried. Do a panorama shot from here down the valley just to give you an idea what it looks like. Good ride ruined by uh, roadworks. That is warm. What is that now? Twenty six feels warmer than twenty six. Jeepers. So this is Mantigas. If that's how you pronounce it. That's how Gloria Garmin pronounced it. Mantigas. She's often wrong though. Right here. Covia. Welcome back, just a couple of miles further on. So we're on the M23, N232 now, with 32 miles back. Into another valley here. 28 mile point to go. It's 28 degrees <coughs> centigrade. It's lovely. Kavir, there are 29 to Kavir. What well, a little serpent this one, isn't it? 
We've had a few bends so far this uh, holiday, sorry, adventure. Nineteen miles to go, just come to this uh, junction here where we've got to turn right onto the N18. We've got to take this uh, slip road here, marked Serra de Estrella, and we're going to pick up our petrol stop next, I think. thought you'd like to just see where this is, in case you're going to replicate stuff. Where'd we go here? Down here. Whew! Blimey, this is a bit complicated. Okay. Right, up through Kavir and back to base. Yeah, it's going to be half past four by the time I get back, so I, I think that'll be enough for one day as a ride. Okay, we didn't start until about ten o'clock. Good fun. Up through these uh, hairpins back to base. Yeah, I'll catch up with you. Uh, back there I think or in the morning when we're off to uh, the Parador Guadalupe in Guadalupe, Spain. So it's plus one hour tomorrow because the time changes. Uh, we go across the Portugal's on British time and Spain is on European time as you probably all know. Right. See you in the morning.